have now created four sprites, including a caterpillar, and edited my stage, uh, the backdrop. I'm ready to actually start doing a little bit of animating now. And the first eight shapes that I'm going to animate are my bits of fruit. And I'm going to start with the apple. And if I click on the costumes tab, you see that we've just got the one costume at the moment, which is the apple. And what I'm going to do is is duplicate the costume. So I've got two, and then I'm going to edit the second one. Now I can right mouse click duplicate, or the other thing that I can do is using the, the duplicate tool that we've already used um, to make myself two copies. And really, really simply, all I'm going to do with my second costume is use the eraser tool, make it quite a big chunky eraser. In fact, let's make it as big as we can. That's too big and then take a chunk out of the apple. So that is my first costume, and there's my second costume. And you can see what we're, the effect we're aiming for here, a little bit of animation to show that the caterpillar is munching its way through the different um, bits of fruit. So let's go and edit and do exactly the same thing to my strawberry. I'm going to right mouse click duplicate, and I'm going to use the eraser tool. And this time let's make a big chunky hole in the middle. That's quite effective. And finally, let's do it to the sprite. Now at the moment I'm only making the two costumes. I'm, I haven't actually put any actions in yet to actually trigger something to, to play the animation, so to speak. So let's go back to the eraser tool and let's put a nice big hole in the pair. There we go. So there are my three animations. Now for the first time in Scratch, now we're actually going to put some actions um, to the sprites so that something actually happens. Um, and I'm going to go to scripts and currently we're looking at the pair. There's no scripts at all on the pair. Um, what I want to happen though, if I choose, we've got a selection of different tabs here for all the blocks that we can use. If I click on looks, we've got one called next costume and all this does we've got the two costumes for the pair one with the hole one without is it moves it to the next costume but I need an event sorry a control an event so that it's um, there's something that actually triggers it moving to the next um, costume it could be when a key is pressed such as the space bar or whatever else it is but I'm actually going to go for now for when the sprite is clicked and let's just see if it if it works over in my scratch window. Wonderful. So when I click the pair, it moves to the next costume. Now I'm going to repeat that action. I'm going to go to the apple now. You can see I've chosen the apple too. There's no code on this one. Um, I'm going to put in the event when the sprite clicked. I'm going to go to looks. I'm going to go to next costume. Let's check that works for the apple. There we go. Now I could repeat this again for the for the strawberry, but I'm just going to show you a little neat trick. If you grab a selection of blocks, you can actually drag them onto a sprite. And if I click on the strawberry now, you can see I've got the code in there. So you can actually save yourself a little bit of time by dragging code around. And hopefully all three of my sprites now, when I click them, move to the next one. And it's probably a good time to actually explore using full screen just to get the full effect of our animation. There we go. You can see it's looking a little bit more interesting for children. Now with my caterpillar here I'm actually going to do a little bit more work because what I'm actually going to do is rather than actually having just the two costumes, if I go to the costumes tab on the caterpillar, I'm actually going to make him a little bit more complicated. I'm actually going to make him grow, then turn into a chrysalis, and finally turn into a butterfly. Okay, I've done a little bit of work. In your absence, recording different caterpillars of different size, sizes and a cocoon, and then finally change into a butterfly. And again, all the scripts I need for that is when this sprite is clicked and unlocks, we need it to go to next costume. Okay, let's run that in full screen. 
and see how it looks. What I should really have done is actually filled my my butterfly so it's filled in a little bit more. So there's my caterpillar. Every time I click on him, he grows a bit, changes to his cocoon, and then we've got a butterfly. And if I wanted to be really clever right now, I could perhaps do some animation to make him fly off or similar.